All right, my love, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. First question. Just out of curiosity, is having any emotions towards your twin flame push, even empathy? Yes. Yes. Any emotions. Emotions are from mine. Emotions are stored energy from mine. Um, in order to interact and engage with your other self, it has to be at a place of neutrality and above. So when you are in interacting through any emotions, those emotions are from energy, stored energy from mind based on retained memories, stories, situations. Now, specifically with empathy, empathy is the ability to be able to put yourself in this place of your shoes into the person that you're putting your shoes on. Uh, you can't do that with your twin flame. That's like thinking about what they're doing, thinking and feeling. And I know it kind of sounds like empathy is like um, doing things, feeling into other people. That's totally fine with other people, but you cannot do that with your person. Because when you do that with your person, you're literally trying to figure out what they're doing, how they're thinking, how they're feeling. You're um, feeling into how they're feeling, which means you're creating energies of push. So the reason why is they're you. So trying to figure them out is pushing out. Every interaction with your person is an energy of soul and presence. And again, you want to be in the scale of consciousness from neutrality and above. Anything below that is you looking externally for your person to understand them and what they're doing, thinking, feeling versus going within and feeling into the oneness, which isn't push. What do you think, love? Yeah. Any kind of emotion that you are feeling towards your person, emotions are from mind. They're from mind. So it will become push. You really need to get in that space of neutrality. And if you're worried or you're feeling into what they may be feeling, you're still creating a story. That's still a story. So any kind of emotions that you're going to feel towards your person are going to be mind because soul just is. Soul is always the observer. So when you are feeling emotions towards yourself, other self, that's mind. If you are realizing, okay, well, I need to be just the observer. You're coming back to soul. Example. When he's going through his own stuff, I don't care. Like, I let him deal with his own stuff. If I try to get into how to fix it and resolve it and figure it out, that's people-pleasing. We we don't have to try to figure their stuff out and save them. The people-pleasing and the understanding and putting yourself in their shoes is just going to repel. The, the This energy of balance is balance energy which is just being there's no understanding or figuring out each other and how they feel so that I can help fix them or make it better or understand them totally have to go you, into that energy of mind yeah you made a good point I just want to I, I want to say this from personal experience whenever my person wants to vent about something right he's venting about a problem that's going on I notice when I just listen to him and I don't say anything, there's this really calm energy. As soon as I start giving mine's opinion and either trying to fix, trying to, um, what's the word? Uh, empathize. Yeah. Empathize. I already feel a pull. I feel uh -huh. him pulling. Even if I'm agreeing yeah. with stuff that he's talking about, I feel the energy of pull. So You're shifting. You're shifting yeah. from soul alignment to mind. You, you got to work to engage in that interaction. You got to be in mind. It's a soulmate interaction at that point. You, you're going to yeah. have to use mind to make them feel bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, your, your, your soul's not going to need that engaging or interaction with yourself. You don't need that yeah. with yourself. It's funny if you don't because so different from any other other person that you're talking to the moment they're in mind if you're meeting them there and you're listening you're empathizing you're you're um, agreeing with them 
it is such a low vibration because it's, yeah, especially if you have is. to empathize, that means there's wrong. You got, you got to feel down. bad. Oh, I feel bad. No, yeah. they can't, you can't meet them there. You have to stay at neutrality. They're having a hard time. They, they you feel bad. Like that's you going through mine and you can't meet them through mine. So, real quick, because I, I know that there's a lot of um, people pleasers. Very common thread is that a lot of us have been people pleasers. So here's the next step of this question. It's like, okay, well, how do I just listen to someone vent and be upset or be hurt or be sad or be <laughs> a, a worried thing and me not respond? Isn't that me sort of being rude and look like I'm indifferent? Well, in this connection, you have to be, like you said, neutral. And it might come off as indifferent, indifference, but it's going to be such a healthier energy than you going down into the empathy mode. Yeah. You you have to stay conscious, basically, is what it is. You, you'll you know to stay conscious. Um, no matter how they're engaging or interacting with you, your role is to stay conscious and be present and be at the place of neutrality. And if you have to use mind to engage, you're pushing. You, you're going to have to go back to soul. That's what this connection is. It's, it's only can be thrived to, through soul because emotions and the empathizing with them is staying and feeling into mind. All right, love, let's go on to the next one. Next question. 